most of these are going to be up for sale on a whatnot auction. Date and time will be in a uh, in the description and probably a pin post below, along with a link. Uh, the link will get you 15 bucks free credit on whatnot if you sign up for the first time to whatnot new account. Silverberg, a time of changes. The World Inside by Silverberg. This may be my favorite Silverberg. It's either this or Downward to the Earth. This is considered not one of his better ones, unless you are book-pilled. The Second Trip by Silverberg. New Dimensions 3. I have a copy of this. The lineup is just insane. Le Guin, Damon Knight, Tiptree, Lafferty, Malsberg, and on, and on. New Dimensions 4. A lot of the same names in this one. Silverbergs Across a Billion Years to Live Again by Silverberg. Of course, Dying Inside. Have that same copy. Gilgamesh the King. That's historical uh, fiction. Alternate history, I think. Master of Life and Death. Man in the Maze, one of his better known ones. Cordwainer Smith's The Instrumentality of Mankind. There is a giant omnibus of all of his short fiction by the same name. This is not that. Star Dreamer, also by Smith. Planet Buyer, which is the first half of Norstrilia, which is a mashup of, mashup, fix up of two different books. And there it is. There is Norstrilia in the blue and green cover. Most of them are orange. There's really only this one. There's like a couple covers, most of them suck. This is the original one, and it's not bad. Uh, great book, Space Lords by Cordwainer Smith. These are all short story collections. Norstrelia is the only novel that he ever wrote, and arguably that's two novellas. Quest of the Three Worlds, once more. Agent of Chaos, Norman Spinrad. I may hang on to this one, maybe. May also hang on to Last Hurrah of the Go uh, Golden Horde, excuse me, because I've found this a couple times. I sold it when I moved. I kind of regret selling it. The New Tomorrows by Norman Spinrad. I'm probably going to keep the Spinrads because these are hard to find. No Direction Home, also Spinrad, also probably mine. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess I'll sell it. Iron Dream, Spinrad. I do have a copy. I have the Hitler on a Motorcycle Edition. This also kind of is Hitler on a Motorcycle Edition. One of my favorites ever. Amazing, amazing book. The Mind Game with my uncle on the cover. And Russian Spring by Spinrad, more modern one. In the mass market, probably sell that one. Ooh, we got some Dawes. The Way Back by A. Bertram Chandler. This rings a bell, probably still sell it. Robert Chilson, The Star-Crowned Kings. Tim Huntley, One on Me, After Me Utopia is full up. These look really good. I like these obscure titles. Century of the Mannequin, E.C. Tubb. We Can Build You, Philip K. Dick. Hmm, do I keep it? I probably keep it. Sheckley's, can you feel anything when I do this? This is certainly like top three covers, title and cover combos. I don't particularly care for the book itself, unfortunately, but love that cover. Dinosaur Beach by Lommer. This is, I think maybe, well, it's certainly one of his most famous books. Lloyd Biggle Jr., The World Menders. I just sense that some of, the, some of those titles are good. I can just feel it. I can feel them. More Silverberg. Thebes of the Hundred Gates, a novella, probably historical fiction, I would guess. Downward to the Earth. Adore this book. Adore it. That is an order. Time of Changes, another celebrated Silverberg. Born with the Dead. Star of Gypsies, another copy of Valley Beyond Time. Thorns, with the really cool cover. The Silent Invaders, 
This is like the entire Silverberg bibliography, or about half of it, maybe. Starborn. Never even heard of that one. Nightwings. Rocks. This book is great. Tom O'Bedlam. Heads. Greg Bear. Have a copy of that, so I'll sell it. Blood-ass music. Selling it. Great book. Hajira. Cyclone. Darwin's Radio. And we're down to the final enormous box. An Ace Double, The Wrecks of Time by Moorcock. And Emil Pataha's Tram Tramontane. Tramontane. I might keep that one. Horn of Time by Paul Anderson. Angle changed because I had to change battery. Budris Inferno. Budris is Inferno. Interesting by Algis. Algis B. Brainwave. Paul Anderson. Paul Anderson, we claim these stars. After Doomsday. Cryptozoic by Brian Aldis. A little bit of sun fading. Love Aldis. Gardner F. Fox, Warrior of Larn, Yarn. Thief of Larn Yarn. Enigma from Tantulus by Mr. Brunner. And The Repairman of Cyclops by Brunner as well. Day of the Star Cities by Brunner Brunner. The Unman and Other Novellas by Paul Anderson. As well as The Makeshift Rocket by Paul Anderson. The Star Fox by Paul Anderson. Great cover. Greybeard, Brian Aldiss. One of his better known books. It's supposed to be great. The Long Result by John Brunner. Death World 3, the second best Death World book. Star Dwellers by Blish. Al Murich by Robert E. Howard. Orphans of the Sky by Heinlein. I may have said one or two things about that. Green Hills of Earth by Heinlein. The Heaven Makers by Frank Herbert. Wow, that's not that common. If I liked Herbert more, I'd probably keep that. The Green Odyssey by Farmer. Three Worlds to Conquer by Paul Anderson. The Dark Light Years by Brian Aldiss. Look at this jacket photo. Outrun Doomsday by Kenneth Ballmer. Time Stop by Farmer. Awesome cover. Wraparound. Tempted to keep that one. Farnham's Freehold. David Grinnell Across Time. Looks like a Frazetta. No, it's Jones. Time Cat, Lloyd Alexander. Darkness on Diamandia by Van Vogt. <laughs> Who Can Replace a Man by Aldous. What a cover. Space Egg by Russ Winterbottom. Revolt in 2100 by Heinlein. Orbit Unlimited, Paul Anderson. The High Crusade by Anderson. The Enemy Stars by Anderson. Time and Stars by Anderson. The Corridors of Time by Paul Anderson. Rogue Moon by Algis Budris. I'm going to keep this one. Famous book. Had a copy, sold it, regretted it. Traitor to the Stars by Paul Anderson. I know that you were missing Paul Anderson there, so some more. The Productions of Time, John Brunner. Out of My Mind, John Brunner. He talked like this, you see. Edwin L. Arnold, Gulliver of Mars. Some forgotten pulp. Tunnel in the Sky by Heinlein. Escape Across the Cosmos by Gardner Fox. Into the Slave Nebula by John Brunner. What a cover. Time Scoop by Brunner. Catch a Falling Star by Brunner. Meeting at Infinity. This is my favorite of all the John Brunner covers. Maybe Sheep Look Up, but that one's amazing. Starship by Brian Aldiss. One of his most famous works. 
Uh, typically this one and Hot House are the two that get recommended a lot. I will sell it. This Immortal by Zelazny. Again, one of his uh, most celebrated. Ray Bradbury, Something Wicked This Way Comes. Check that out. Really nice shape. I'll sell it. Rebirth by John Wyndham. This was uh, an alternate title for Midwich Cuckoos. Really good book. Out of the Deeps, John Wyndham. Also called Crake and Wakes. Kind of beat up Martian Chronicles by Bradbury. This box just goes and goes. Six by H. Who's Afraid of Beowulf? People of the Talisman, Lee Brackett. And also The Secret of Sin Harat by Brackett. Planet of Peril by Otis Klein. Best from Fantasy and Science Fiction, fifth series by A.B. Anthony Boucher, Beat Up. Pilgrimage, The Book of the People by Zena Henderson. Interesting, probably an anthology, I would think. Darth Heinlein's Assignment in Eternity. Death World 2, the third best Death World book. Lord of Light by Zelazny, one of his famous ones. Tomorrow the Stars by Heinlein. Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. Some scuffing on it. Passport to Eternity by J.G. Ballard. Third collection of stories. I'm going to keep it. That one is mine. That one is mine. Rolling Stones, Heinlein. 13 Great Stories of Science Fiction. Edited Groff Conklin. That is all beat up. More Than Superhuman by Van Vogt. Pretty beat up. Men Against the Stars, Martin Greenberg. R is for Rocket by Bradbury. October Country by Bradbury. The Daleth Effect, Harry Harrison. Black Cloud by Fred Hoyle. His most famous book. Nice vintage paperback. Hmm. I'll sell it. James Blish's The Warriors of Day. Never seen that edition. The Anything Box by Zena Henderson. Destiny's Orbit, David Grinnell. And I'm going to guess Andre Norton on the back. No, John Brunner, Times Without Number. But it is beat up. Planet of the Damned by Harry Harrison. Cool covers. Look at that. Village of the Damned by John Wyndham. Midwich Cuckoos. So Rebirth was probably Chrysalids, not Village of the Damned. The Menace from Earth, Robert Heinlein. This is about Robert Heinlein. <laughs> the Port of Peril by Otis Klein. Time for the Stars by Heinlein. Future Imperfect, a collection from James Gunn. Interesting. We've reviewed a James Gunn book before. Pod Kane of Mars by Heinlein. The Syndic by Kornbluth. Keeping that one. Adore me some CM Kornbluth. A for anything. Damon Knight. Tempted to keep it, but I will sell it. Six by Heinlein. Again, six by H. Different cover. Sure is a lot of Heinlein here. Starship Troopers. A vintage one, I am kind of tempted to keep this book. This is the only Heinlein that has ever not chapped uh, my ass off of my body after reading it, but I haven't read it since I was 12 years old. We'll see. Day After Tomorrow, Heinlein. Beyond This Horizon, Heinlein. Glory Road. Heinlein. Prime Number, Harry Harrison. Plague from Space by Harry Harrison. That looks awesome. Best from Fantasy and Science Fiction, edited by Avram Davidson. Wow, look at the names. I may hang on to this one. J.G. Ballard, Jack Vance, Harry Harrison, Bester, Avram Davidson, Zena Henderson. I'll probably still sell that one. Uh, Harry Harrison, 
Bill the Galactic Hero in a vintage edition. Wow, that's pretty rare. I think I'll keep that one. Technicolor Time Machine by Harry Harrison. Keith Lommer, Retief, Ambassador to Space. Oh, ooh, ooh, this wants to be a Will Smith edition. Look at that demolished man. With his suave ass cover photo. Oof. Ooh, I'm tempted by this one. I have a Timescape edition in storage. Ah, we'll see. Dark Side of the Earth by Alfred Bester. Nine by Lommer. Retief and the Warlords. Stone God Awakens. The House on the Borderlands, William Hope Hodgson. This is a really famous book. Hmm. Probably hang on to that one. Titan's Daughter by James Blish. That might be the best of all the covers that I've seen. I will let you have it. The Broken Year by Blish. Ossian's Ride, Fred Hoyle. Maza of the Moon by Klein. Outside the Universe by Edmund Hamilton. James White, Second Ending, Ace Double. With, oh man, Jewels of Aptor by Delaney. I already have a copy of Aptor. John Brunner, Bedlam Planet, great cover. Guardians of Time, Paul Anderson. War of the Wingmen, Paul Anderson. These little bat guys keep showing up. Starburst by Bester. Oh man, I might have to keep these matching Besters. I'm sorry to tease you. I might just have to keep those. Atlantida by Pierre Benoit. The Lopsided Man by Bill Ballinger. Interesting. Last couple stacks here. Keith Woodcott, The Martian Sphinx, The Space-Time Juggler by Brunner, along with The Astronauts Must Not Land by Brunner, To Conquer Chaos by Brunner. Wow, that is a great cover. The Dreaming Earth by Brunner. Lots of Brunner. The Super Barbarians, Brunner. Atlantic Abomination. This is actually not a very common book. It's a science fiction horror. I do have a copy of that. The Whole Man by Brunner. Joy Leg by Ward Moore and Avram Davidson. Wow. Probably keeping that one. Marion Zimmer Bradley's Falcons of Nerebdala or something. And Bradley, Dark Intruder, and other stories. And final stack, Get Out of My Sky, selected by Leo Margulies, a uh, science fiction anthology. The Greeks, The Greks Bring Gifts by Murray Leinster. James Gunn, Station in Space. Red Alert by Peter Bryant, World War II book. Seedling Stars by Blish. Star Swarm by Aldous. The 100th Millennium by John Brunner. Doubled with David Grinnell's Edge of Time. Kind of banged up. The Planet Savers by Bradley. And The Sword of Aldonis by Bradley. And final book, The Bloody Sun by Marion Zimmer Bradley. Let's pan around, look at the carnage, check this out. That's about half. There's the rest of it. My God. My God. And I'm gonna be thrifting a lot while I'm home. Please don't be mad if I switch some of these out, hang on to some of them. Matt, why would you hang on to books? You're traveling abroad. Because I'm a pervert. And because I have a storage unit. Some of these are mine and you will never have them. Thank you for watching.